Welcome to the world of Back for Blood, a thrilling cooperative first-person shooter from Turtle Rock Studios, creators of the critically acclaimed Left 4 Dead franchise. You are at the center of a war against the Ridden. These once-human hosts of deadly parasites have turned into terrifying creatures, bent on devouring what remains of civilization. With humanity's extinction on the line, it's up to you and your friends to take the fight to the enemy, eradicate the Ridden, and reclaim the world. With Back for Blood, no playthrough runs the same way twice. This level of variety is made possible by the game director that constantly adjusts to player action, creating memorable, unpredictable, dramatic gameplay. This affects enemies, modifiers, the environment, and more. Over the course of the next four days, thousands of players will be able to play Back for Blood for the first time. Our Back for Blood closed alpha test showcases an early mission, Evansburg, from within the four-player cooperative campaign. In this mission, you'll be able to fight overwhelming odds, topple towering monstrosities, and try to survive. Each time you play, you'll face a new set of threats. As you play through the closed alpha test, you'll also discover new items, gear, and weapons to help you take your fight against the Ridden further. Though each time you play, the game director will change what you find and where, so make sure you run through more than once. When Back for Blood launches, gamers may assume the role of eight playable characters, known as cleaners. In addition to distinct personalities, each of these cleaners has their own unique secondary weapon and character perk. In the Back for Blood closed alpha test, players may take control of the following cleaners. Walker, Holly, Evangelo, and Hoffman. Throughout the Back for Blood closed alpha test, our battle-hardened cleaners will be required to test themselves against a small sampling of the Ridden. You will get a taste of the threat of these dangerous foes. The common infected, Stinger, Wretch, Tallboy, and the terrifying Ogre. Back for Blood offers a new roguelike card system that allows players to customize their experiences and create new challenges. When you enter a mission, the game director will play what are called corruption cards. This will make the game more difficult, dynamic, and intense for the players. For example, spawning larger hordes of enemies, generating fog, or making ammo scarce. Players can then play their own set of cards to suit their play style. These cards can range from finding more of a specific weapon to giving your team benefits, such as faster healing or the ability to hold more ammo. These cards are earned by completing certain challenges and objectives. In the final game, players will be able to customize their decks to best take on whatever threat comes their way. The combinations are endless, leaving you with a unique experience every time. Knowing all of this, are you prepared to jump into Back for Blood's closed alpha test? We need your help to play, balance, test, and break our game so that it can emerge stronger when it launches. Please join us to help Turtle Rock Studios and Warner Brothers Games deliver a worthy co-op shooter the world has been dying to play.